how do we see the increase of God's grace in our mind number one is first we have to renew our mind we have to renew our mind according to the word of God we have to see the way God sees it we must think the way God thinks we must align ourselves to the word of God if we see a challenge anywhere we have to accept that there is God's grace to overcome it if we see a problem anywhere we have to know that God has enough grace to overcome it if we face sickness in our lives we have to know that God has enough grace to overcome it if we face addiction in our life and we can't break that cycle of sin in our life we have to understand that God has more grace to overcome it God is always superior his grace is always greater there is no power of sin there is no bondage there is no sickness there's nothing get, that can stand on the way of God's grace first thing is we have to renew our mind we have to accept the thoughts that God has towards us we have to accept the thinking that God has to the degree that we think the thoughts of God is the same degree we will walk in the power of God you say okay you know that sounds great um I want that lifestyle I want that grace I want that increase of God's grace in my life how do I have it I have these issues in my family I have these issues in my life I have these addictions I have this th these issues these problems the challenges that I'm facing how do I get that grace to live victorious how do I get gr that grace to overcome it starts with aligning our mindset with God's aligning our thinking with God's thinking and to the way to the degree that we allow God's thoughts to become our own thoughts to the degree that we allow God's desires to become our desires to that level we will walk in the power of God see it will not just it will not just come automatically Bible has over some say 5,000 promises some say 7,000 some say 9,000 promises regardless of how many of them there are there's plenty enough for every single day for every single problem every situation you have but many Christians still live defeated because they don't take the promise of God and make it their own they don't take the promise and think it think it so long think it um on a consistent basis so that it becomes part of who they are and when it becomes part of who you are then you can walk in that power that the promise has and the promise of God for us is the increase of our uh, increase of grace in any area where sin brought damage where sin still reigns we are the sons and daughters of God and if God reigns supreme if God reigns victorious we need to embrace we need to accept what God has for us we need to accept the position and the authority that God has for us amen and when we do that we will be able to walk in the grace of God in our lives and defeat every challenge you have to understand that your thoughts your thoughts are like railroad tracks your thoughts pave the way for God to move in your life if you have a negative thinking if you have a defeated thinking if you have a thinking that I'm I can't amount to anything it's always been like this in my family dude that's how I was that's who I was that's um I mean I can't break this addiction I can't go past this I this is who I always was then this is as far as we allow Holy Spirit this is as far as we allow God to move in our lives but if we embrace God's kind of a thinking if we embrace what God says about us by this thinking we build these tracks for Holy Spirit to move in our lives and as far as we build those tracks that's as far as God can move in our lives so number one thing is that we have to renew our mind that means we have to get into the Word of God that, that means we have to surround ourselves with a with the right kind of teaching we have to surround ourselves with podcasts with audio messages we have to surround ourselves with right kinds of books that will challenge ourselves that will challenge our mind that will renew our thinking and will help us to build a kind of right mindset so that we can agree with God's Word amen